What's up, everybody? I'm Joe Romo, and this is Po' Boy's Garage. Good afternoon, or evening, or morning. I don't know whenever time you guys are watching this, but hello, how's it going? Today, we'll be working on the Cressida. I can't, I need to open this. So I will be replacing the rear main seal, and uh, that's gonna be a fun little job, for sure. Super easy though, I've done it before on the 240 a couple times, drop that transmission, replace that rear main seal. So I'm assuming it should be the same, right? There it is, right there. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, man. This, uh, right now I'm just gonna bring the car into the shop and onto the good old lift. I'm also gonna change out a couple of the lug nuts. Those are all stripped and everything and uh, yeah, it should be a super productive day. So uh, let's get started. Woohoo! Cool, cool, cool. Well, I got the Cressetta in, it's ready to get on the lift. I'll raise it up, start draining the fluids, then I'll remove the drive shaft and work my way forward. This is, uh, this is pretty much a simple process. And uh, once I figure that out and that's all done and over with, then I will get on to the studs, the lug studs, the studs. And luckily, I remembered that the studs are stripped but they're stripped from my spacer, so I got lucky on that part. So all I gotta do is pop the spacers off and just put a new, uh, some new studs in there, and then we'll be good. Well, change the plans. I was about to work on the Cressetta, but right now I need to uh, work on the old daily. I need to replace that clutch. That's number one prior priority. So I go to work. So we'll get back to this soon. Probably in a couple days, all right? Woo all right, well it's been a couple days already and uh, I took a break because I needed to focus on the Lancer and I got parts coming for that. So uh, let's get the uh, Cressetta back on the lift. All right, the lift, the lift. <laughs> all right, the Cressetta's back on the lift. Oh man, look at these tires. I need to hit up Andy, get some new tires before this gets back on the road. But I guess the first things first, what I'll be doing is draining the transmission fluid. Where is it at? Oh yeah, right here. I'll drain that. And then I'll also be draining the oil. Well, look right there. There's some oil right now. It already leaked out pretty quick. I mean, it's been sitting for maybe an hour. And that's the puddle. So I'll get some more light and then uh, we'll just get to it. So what I'll be using for the uh, draining of the transmission fluid. Ah, where is it? Where is it? It is a 24. So I'll drain that out right now. Dark, everybody. That's that's horribly dark. Like, here he goes. How thick that is. That's disgusting. It's not even. I don't know, man. Well, it hasn't. I haven't done any maintenance on it. Oh, there's some gunk on the transmission right here. Yeah, check it out, ship. Hold on. Let me get a towel. I need a towel. Can you bring me a towel? Here, here. I'll trade you. Light. Look at that gunk. You see that? That's not good. That's all metal shavings. 
fun. fun. Hmm, yeah. Well, the guy who had the cart before me did not take care of it. He was a super poser. Definitely a big poser. So I got a good deal on this car, but I'm dealing with all this nonsense. I don't know, like... Alright, cool. So, now that we have the transmission fluid drained, we're gonna work on the oil. And we're gonna drain the oil. And that is just a simple, what is it? A simple 19. You can't see it, can you see it, can you see it? 19. So a simple 19, we'll drain the oil, and then, uh, you know, we'll be good. <laughs> Look at that, so nice and super clearer than uh, the last oil change I did. So the cool thing about this is once I do all this again, at least I know we're good on the oil changes, <laughs> And we'll put some good oil in it, and I got the actual oil filter in because this is like super big. So I ordered at Rock Auto. I always go to Rock Auto to order my parts and fix all my cars. So I ordered the actual um, oil filter and like other stuff for this car, and I got them all in. So we're just gonna keep moving forward with all the parts I got. And this car should be up and running. I'm hoping, you know, by the end of the night, I'll have the transmission off. And maybe tomorrow I'll get back to like the rest of it, but we'll see. We'll see how much I do tonight. We'll we'll see what happens. Who knows? All right, so the motor oil is drained. Transmission oil is drained. Next thing we're gonna move on to is the uh, brackets that hold up the drive shaft. So I know there's. I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of winging it, and it's. I think. This comes off right here, and it's like a cap. And then I think there might be a bolt right there. And then there's a few right here. And then we got this guy. And we got the main cross member for the transmission, which we'll eventually get to. But right now, we're gonna take off this little bracket right here, which is a, what is this? A little 10 millimeter for this outside bracket. So we'll take that off right now and then we'll move on to uh, this side, which is, where is it at? Where is it at? Which is a fort, you can't even see it. It's a 14. So the 14 takes off this bracket right here and the 10 will take off uh, this bracket right here. So we'll do it right now. It's dripping. It's dripping. Well, little change of plans. <laughs> like always, right? Um, as I was taking off a couple more bolts here and there, I noticed that above, uh, pretty much behind the motor, above the transmission, up on top, it's leaking oil. It's coming down. So I was like, you know, let me hit up my buddy, my buddy Jeff, which, thank you, buddy. Uh, to let me know, hey man, am I wasting my time pulling out the transmission, doing the rear main seal, or is there a certain something up top that that leaks? That what would cause the leak? And he would, he you know, informed me that if I, if my uh, rear main seal was leaking, it would be pissing it out like crazy. Which, understandable, I agree, totally agree with that. So then I started looking a little more. Oh show you guys right now. Hopefully I get some light in there, let's see. As you can see right there. Right there. It's leaking all around there. So I got a leak on this back side right here. And it's trailing down and it comes down and it's just, it's just horrible up there. Can't see where get the light. There you go. This just does not look good. So it's traveling down. And then this side, 
it's all clean. Pretty much clean, still a little oily, but. Um, so, it might be just be traveling down and leaking down and pouring out. So, so this episode was supposed to be, you know, pulling out the remaining seal and popping in the new one, but it looks like I'm going. I'm just going to be putting everything back together. It's all on the ground. I'll throw it all back together, and then um, I'll just start degreasing all up on top, clean it all up, and put all the fluids back in, and make sure it's really that up, up top. If it's if it's something simple up top, then cool, awesome, awesome. I don't have to drop the trans. The other thing I need to do was the lug nuts, the studs. And luckily, luckily, it's uh, it's the uh, spacer, so we're good on that. It should be way faster and easier. I'll take care of those. But yeah, here than I just showed. Not a complete waste of time. I mean, hopefully it was a little. I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh, Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo, everybody! Another day, another dollar well spent on a Corsetta. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, look who's in the house. Look who showed up! It's Joey! Hola, <laughs> Hola como estas? Muy bien. Me amo, also. Also. So, yeah, he came over to give me a little hand, a little support on this nonsense but uh I'm going to continue on taking off those rear cam seals I'm gonna figure it out I'm gonna take them off and he's gonna assist me on we're gonna take care of the uh, spacers yeah he's gonna take care of the spacers right now yeah a bunch of little things here and there so it's a bit of project this thing uh, this episode's gonna be interesting it goes from one thing to another thing to another thing to another thing and then who knows? Woo no, it's off. <laughs> See this trash. It's flat it is. It's looking like that. Not look like it's straight pipe. Get it off. Doing it one hand is down. There you go. There he goes. There he goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they want to get out. <laughs> Alright, so took these off the spacers and uh, the lug nuts that I purchased are not the same. Way different. Yeah. So for now, just so I could use the car, spacers are coming off, and I'll just run it the way it is until I get Something about this size, or uh, just order some new spacers. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the tires POV. <laughs> Tire POV. <gasps> oh, get, where's the hole? On a shot here. That one was getting stripped. <laughs> I could see what it was doing, and it was not doing it. This, this one was really fudged. That's the 241 or no? No. No, that was the only one I wasn't fudged. Oh, see what we do. The whole stud is fucked now? No, it's just this. It's oh, just go grab another one from the 240. Sorry, 240. You'll come back to life soon. Yeah, Corsetta has two points on us. We only got one ship. Is it half time yet? <laughs> no, we're getting close. I think we're taking that off. Oh, we had to, brother. We had to. We had to. The reverse brick job. Yeah, we took everything from the rear because the uh, this guy, this guy right here, decided to get stuck. It broke on the hub. On the hub, so it was just spinning. It was just spinning. The lug nuts behind the hub, the welds snapped. There's welds on the back of these. That's fun. 
and it snapped. So it was just spinning. So we couldn't even take off the we tire. Off, so I had to take off the, everything back here and pull like the brake job from behind. Yeah. Because yeah. all the hub was on the tire. So we had to take apart everything from the back. We had to pull the tire with the caliper with the rotor off just to get to what we needed to get to. <laughs> Got it the other way now. When did you put this on the... That goes in the lug nut. That's a lug nut. I know, but I thought it was just on the hood part. No, we took those off. You and then the spacers were gone. Because we don't, I don't have a long enough uh, lug nuts for the spacers. But they're the same, they're a good size for the regular hub. So we're like, okay, let's take the spacers off. Let's just throw a tire on. But then it's like, wham, I'm spinning. It got super spinny on this, on this guy. So we had to pop all, we popped them all off, put new ones on. So it's ready to go. We got well, we repacked. Couldn't the, we couldn't take the tire off. Because it was stuck. Yeah. So now, Becker said I got a full on <laughs> rebuild. <laughs> new, new, uh, new chingadera sauce. <laughs> you haven't touched that oil yet? Nope. We were going to get there, but uh, we didn't get there. You just decided to take your day. Yeah, we're like, oh, you know, let's do something different, you know. I never tried pulling the hub tire off without lug nuts on. Yeah, you know? let's just, let's try that today. Why not do it on an old car? And we did. Rebleed your brakes again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We gotta rebleed them. We gotta do everything, man. Hey, man. Things just happen randomly over here at the shop, but we'll get it done. The thing is, we'll get it done. <laughs> that's a, that's the thing. We got this. <laughs> Just excessive amount of time used <laughs> than normal because if we would have took off the tire and then just did everything else, it would have been great. But instead, we have to do it yeah, the extra time. You won't be a pole boy if you didn't do it twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're walking here. Alright, just there. So if you can clean up all this bullshit. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. Hey, it's still recording, man. They're still here. It's still recording. It's still recording. Whoa! <laughs> I was laughing today. Hey. Like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye. Like, comment, subscribe. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>